welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. Today we're going to take this image of this rhino and we're going to make it look as if the rhino is in the rain and uh, water coming up off of his feet. First thing we're going to need to do is grab some images. Uh, one in particular, this multicolor liquid image off of Google. And uh, I don't see a copyright anywhere on it, so I believe I can use it. Um, but just in case, I wanted to go ahead and show it uh, just in case for that reason. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that into this image. And I'm going to go to uh, Image Adjustments, and I'm going to desaturate that. And then I'm going to hold down uh, Control or Command and I, I'm sorry, and so that it's black and white. And we'll come back to that in a second. So let's go ahead and minimize that for now. Now this background layer, let's duplicate that and hide the bottom one. And we want to go ahead and go to Image, Adjustments, and Hue and Saturation. And I want to drop the saturation down to about 50 on this. I then want to adjust the hue towards more of the bluish tones. So as you can see here, I'm kind of going over here with the slider. And then I'm going to drop the lightness down just a tad as well. And then I'll hit OK. Once I've done that, it almost looks as if it's in the dark, but we need to go ahead and add a gradient to it. So select a gradient tool with black and white colors, and then go ahead and hold down shift and click and drag to the bottom of your screen. Then change that over to screen mode. Or uh, maybe it's light. Which one is it? I always forget. Overlay, I'm sorry. And uh, then drop that opacity down to about 60% or so. After that, let's go back to our layer zero, create a new layer, and we're going to simply fill that, right click on the gradient tool, paint bucket tool, with black, and go to filter, blur, uh, noise first, add the noise, around 85, Gaussian, monochromatic, and hit OK, filter, blur, motion blur, make sure you have the setting same, angle of 35, distance of 80, and hit OK. And then we can go in and choose uh, different options until we find the one we like. I'm going to go ahead and stick with overlay though and then I'm going to use my eraser tool amp that size up quite a bit zero hardness and I want to erase some of that off of the actual rhino itself because I don't want it on the rhino just yet so just so it's kind of around it as you can see there and it just kind of adds to the effect a little bit next I want to go back to my main image and I would like to go ahead and use my uh, dodge tool, amp that up a little bit, a little more, and I just want to kind of highlight the side of this rhino a little bit more to kind of give sort of a overcast effect. And this might be amped a little bit too much, but we'll deal with that in a little bit. After we've done that, it's time to go back to our splash and we can go ahead and choose screen with that and you'll see that our image now looks like water on our screen use the eraser tool make it a little bit smaller erase the parts of the image we don't want which would be kind of like so hit control T and I'm gonna rotate this and I'm gonna put it down here where his paw is go to distort we're just going to kind of maneuver this around a little bit until it's kind of sitting the way that I like. And I kind of like that, so I'll hit OK on that. And you'll see here I just need to go in and erase it off of the edges of his feet just a tad. And then we can get rid of it off of his face. We can get rid of a little bit of this too, but leave some of it up in here. I'll then duplicate that layer and I want to hit uh, V to move it and I'm going to move it over to his snout or um, tusk and rotate that probably make it a little bit bigger something like that and again I can distort that or skew it, let's skew it this time and I'm just going to kind of skew this into where it should be like so and that's looking pretty good now I just want to do one more. I'm going to take the big one again, and I want to do his back foot over here. And I really don't have to do much with this. I have to scale it down to kind of fit. And then I do want to go ahead and do perspective on it and just kind of 
move this around a little bit because I wanted to get it kind of off the side to the side of his foot just a bit, kind of like so. Just a little bit to kind of make it look good. Now this is looking pretty good, but this image is not really looking perfect yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the. Uh, 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 blending mode of this layer. I'm just going to go through them because I want to see if I can get this to look any better. And multiply there looks actually pretty good. Um, so I'll go ahead and then duplicate that layer. And this one here I could actually just get rid of for now. This one in here I want to just bring down the opacity a little bit. Kind of like so. Maybe bring down this opacity just a bit as well. And then I can worry about putting a specific color on top of this image, which is going to be kind of a ocean type color. And then simply change it over to uh, color mode here. And then I can drop that opacity down until I'm happy with the night image. Kind of like, kind of like that. And you can do stuff to it that you like. You could uh, change the color tone just a little bit. Something more like that. Slight little change. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, but it's just barely a change. Make your brush bigger by quite a bit, actually. And just paint more random into it to kind of break things up a little bit. Maybe do a little bit more drastic effects. Like so, just to kind of break it up. And if I amp that opacity up, you can see that uh, it's, it's looking pretty good there. So with that, I'll go ahead and conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. I hope you all have enjoyed it. And I will see you in future lessons, guys. Thanks, and have a great day.